Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Hitman 2 2018 on the GeForce CTX 1060 3GB. I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p, 4K and 2560 by 1080 To skip down at those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check one of the humble affiliate links down in the description as well. So first I'll show you 1080p with almost a maximum settings. I just lower level of detail to high in order to stay over 50 frames per second most of the time. There can be a couple exceptions in very GPU heavy areas. Then I show you 1080p ultra wide, which is 2560 by 1080. There I target over 30 frames per second with ultra settings, since 60 frames per second was very difficult. Not that my capture card can do ultra wide resolutions, I just took advantage of it. Then at 1440p, I show you two configurations, one targeting over 30 frames per second and the other one with low settings to see what frame width we get. And then at 4K, I just show you the lowest settings, since it's still drops below 30 frames per second with an overclock in place on the GPU. And at the end of the video I'll show you the i3-8100 using the same settings as the start of the video on 1080p. So far I didn't find any way to enable DirectX 12, at the moment there is only DirectX 11 available. The testing will take place in the Miami level and the final island map which is on night time. I selected those two since the island map was the most GPU intensive one and the Miami level was more of a combination of both GPU and CPU demands. The most CPU intensive level by far was the Mumbai level at the very start. After walking around a bit, it will use less CPU. This level would not be present in the video, but I might use that one in the future for CPU comparisons. The reflections were what destroyed my performance the most. They are not screen space reflections, but they are very demanding. That's one of the reasons why the island level was so taxing. One of the floors there reflected a lot of NPCs and many other things in the environment. I found the options menu to be a little disappointing since we have less options compared to the previous game. We cannot control the shadow render distance, it seems to just control the resolution of them. And at least right now I didn't find any anti-aliasing option, I guess the game is forcing on you some sort of post anti-aliasing method. So the options to improve performance are SSAO, shadows and level of detail, only those three. I usually like lowering level of detail and shadows together and keep SSAO enabled so we get a less flat game. But there's not much that you can do. I would have liked to see options for reflection, resolution and effects so people with lower end cards can tone them down at the very least. It seems that reflections and some effects just scale with the screen resolution option, according to Digital Foundry, link to a video of them um, explaining that down in the description. And on the CPU side, on all the levels except in Mumbai, you can get 50 to 60 frames per second with an i3-8100, at least most of the time. With a 6-core Ryzen 5 or i5-8400, you can get 60s on all levels if the GPU is good enough. And finally, if you have a G4560 or something similar, I recommend a 30 frames per second cap to avoid inconsistent frame times, but expect drops below 30 frames per second in some sections of Mumbai. Also, 8 gigs of RAM on dual channel is more than enough to play this game totally fine. But yeah guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. This'll just take a sec, sir. Thank you. Just feel it. 
the tension in the air. Now, this is a good, clean family show, folks. Make no mistake. But at the end of the day, it's all about winning. And Moses Lee and Sierra. Good job, sir. Thank you. Don't forget, the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going until the end. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. Anyway, the food stands are located right there.
say, is that the, um... Just huh? the Don't, 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 Good to see you. Oh. It has to be something oh. real. Oh. Mm. We have to see you. Everything will be bad. Next year, and we're going to have to have a camp. And everybody will be happy and smiling, and that's the end of it. Hey, who are you? Do I know you? I agree, sir. That's it. Go Whoa, you're a psycho. I, you're going to regret this. No. Oh. 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 